This skip. Coming to you live. Shout out to Real House Six Aquatic Kennels. This is a follow up video of my aquarium house tour. These are some of the tanks and some of the fish that I didn't display on that particular video. So you can consider this video volume two or part two. Also, uh, I wanted to let my main man, dog man, Rashad know that it looks like I found a, uh, a female, a likely candidate for him, Pyro Trimax he was looking for, right here, right in front of you. And by special request, some people wanted to see uh, me feed some of my fish. You can see the black in the dorsal fin right there, Rashad. Told y'all look after you. Y'all need to check out Dog Man videos, man. He has some awesome cichlids, dovies, red tiger motor guincies. What they doing? And let me throw some uh, brine shrimp in this tank. On Sundays, I feed my fish uh, mainly frozen food, my young fish. My adult fish, I may get them some earthworms, some hookworms, and uh, things of that nature. I do not feed my fish goldfish or any type of rosy reds or feeders unless they're uh, fresh minnows. I mainly feed my fish pellets, my special blend. So let me start babbling and let's get right into it. Uh, put some fish up in here. Pyro's hit. As you can see, Rashad, uh, big girl, she getting quite a few. She getting all of them, almost all of it. She looking good too. Nice gold body, yellow body. She ain't showing a lot of red today, but I can see it. You can't hardly see it in the video. Over to my left. I got a tank full of 10 full bobs. It's like uh, probably 15 of them in here. They growing quite fast. I got them as little babies for like, you know, 50 cent a piece. 10 full bobs are very expensive. At this size right here, they're probably like $12 at the, at the local pet store. But I love 10 full bobs. They're one of my favorite non cichlids Because I like the way they swim in school, synchronized. A good target fish. Let's see. Some other fish you guys didn't get to see. I know you didn't get to see my young uh, red tiger motor Gwensi. He's about close to four inches now. I had him in the community tank over there with the Midas and the Trimax. He got his uh, back tail nip. It looks like it's starting to grow back. I hope it does. I hate to see missing fans on my fish. But he's getting bigger. He's growing. Uh, matter of fact, I can show you his parents. Look at his parents right there. Matter of fact, they look like they about to lay eggs again. Okay, and over here I have another set of Pyro Trimax. This is all for uh, Pikachu. All of these are off of Pikachu and Rodan and also some are off of Pikachu. The smaller ones are off of Pikachu and another Pyro Trimax that I sold to someone four years ago. Awesome looking specimen. And um, he looks so good I decided to breed Pikachu with him. I took him over to my buddy house and um, she dropped eggs and he fertilized and here's the end result. I don't know why it's coming out so blurry. I don't guess I gotta focus. Let me throw some food in here and see what they doing. And these are a lot smaller than the ones you just saw. These are like an inch. And um, they're picking it apart. Young pyros. Now these pyros are gonna be awesome. They're gonna look much better than the last batch. And that's saying a lot because the last batch is just ridiculous. Once they reach about five to six inches, that's when you'll start really seeing their true color, their attitude, their nature. 
but some of these are already showing teardrops, the spats, the flower, or whatever they want to call it, on the top of their head. And they already got a lot of red in their fins at an inch. So I already know. I can tell when the good batch is in front of me. Uh, Brian Shrimp is gone. Over here, I got a young fest day. You know, he hiding. That's a young um, monarch fest day. Awesome specimen. He's about a about an inch. He's in there by himself. He killed all the other fest days that was with him. Let's see if I can. Um, this tank is empty, so I, there's no sense in even turning on the light or showing what's in there. I'm gonna put uh, those Pikachu fry in that in that particular aquarium. And yes, Pikachu Fry has hatched from the uh, Maiden Ritual video. Let me put some pellets up in there. Boom. There you go. That special blend. Look at him. He's keeping his eye on the pellets while he chew the other one and down it. Bam. Another one. Bam. Another one. Let's see what they're doing. Awesome specimen. And let's come over here. Another tank. This tank is mainly full of mitas. There's a few uh, pyros up in here as well. But it's mainly your uh, mitas cichlids. Most of them will peel and turn orange. Some of them will be what they call uh, gray or blue devils. Let me feed some of them some um, special bin pellets. See what they doing. Yeah, you see what they doing. Boom. Uh, every last one I'm gone just about already. And crunching them down. A few trimax in here. They're already uh, probably about two and a half, almost three inches. You can see the red in their chest already. They fight a lot in here, so uh, there's really no clear, well, the orange mite is now is the most dominant one. The big female that was in here that you may have saw in the previous video that was uh, spawned with him, I took her out, separated her, and um, she got through the divider, and unfortunately she didn't make it. She got through the divider with one of my Islatums. She was too young to handle that, and um, she didn't make it. Well, fortunately for me, I have plenty of uh, young pyros. Now let's take it over here to another tank that you guys didn't get, get to see, really. This is a tank full of uh, Bob Midas off my big big man Casanova. Y'all seeing over there, my breeding pair. Nice Bob Midas. They will not peel. They're going to stay nice and reddish blue color with nice thick bars they, they probably a little less than an inch they probably half an inch close to an inch some of them may be close to an inch but most of them like half an inch let's throw some food in here and see what they doing there they go feeding frenzy like damn piranhas these are going to be some awesome fish people. They're already blue. They're a bluish color now. And as you can see that, it's getting devoured. It's pretty much gone. Let's see if I get a close-up on them. Nice Bob Midas. I sold the dovi that was over here, spawned with my yellow race dovi. Already, people were looking for dovi like crazy. I can't keep dovi for some reason, but I have them now divided with my hugger boom because he was a little too aggressive up top. I think I may have mentioned that in an old video. So I figured my dovi will calm them down a little bit.
the hugger boom was originally in this tank with the Vihas and Amarello. With my female Amarello. See if I can get her in the video. Look at her, her little gnat on her head. Little hump. I got another regular ball mite that's up in there too. They both for sale. Anybody looking for some um, nice Bob Midas, female, you better get them because Bob Midas is going to be the hottest thing in this year to come. Believe it or not, they're pretty red in most pet stores. You can't find no Bob Midas, not no good ones. And that's a nice female Amarillo. A guy came over looking for him. I'm not going to mention any names. Came over here, but she was in another holding tank. He looked at her. He, I guess he wasn't impressed. He didn't really like her. Now look at her. I told him when you put her in the tank with other fish, with some driftwood and stuff, she's a totally different fish with a nice hump on her head. It's a female, people. I don't like the humps real big like like the flower horns, the big trifling humps because it looks like the body is, 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 there's no balance. I like a balance attack. I like a thick, hearty, balanced looking cichlid. I guess I'll feed some of these too while I'm over here. Because a lot of people have been requesting me to feed my cichlids. Let's see. Come to the top. And there they go. They jumping out the water for the pellets. That special blend is no joke, people. That special blend is no joke. Guess I'll shoot a video of young Cherokee since I took her out of the tank with Pikachu. She was divided in there with Pikachu. So her eating too. I'm gonna get some food. She looking good. That black all in her fin. She looked just like her sister. Let's see if we can go down here and take a look at Pikachu and the little baby fry. They're not even swimming yet. Well, they're trying to swim. I see them hopping around in the bottom. Let's see if I can get a close up on them. There was some hopping around, some behind this rock. I think she's moving them. So, uh, the maiden ritual work to go proud dad, big Rodan. Let's see if I can get a snapshot of him. And I'm back, big Rodan. Guys are hopping. Good. I got some little baby fish down here too, some mariners, some lion's eyes, but I don't have a light on this aquarium, so it's really no purpose in me even showing them. I got an Argentine and um, some Grimaldi's up here, but they're hiding in the log. You can see the Argentine head sticking out. Eventually, it'll start coming out. That's the one I moved from the other tank. And here's what we're getting to. Gee, man. Flash water all the way over here. This is my tank full of red tigers and uh, festes. Well, not full of red tigers. I only have like three red tigers in here. The ones that I kept off my man with the gnat on his head. And I have some festays from different batches, from different locations. And I got a nice, nice one straight out of Florida right there, that, that four inch one. Let's see if I can get a close up on them. Getting a little size on them. They already got the red all in their fins and the blue orange freckles all in them. That's a nice looking female probably. Let's, let's give them a little something to eat. See how they working. What they doing. There it go. Let's see them hit it. I'm too. Red tigers grabbing it. Fest days. Yeah, it's getting demolished, people. Well, this skip. That's it. I'm out.